koalas have their own territory to live in. They mark it with drops of wee. Males also have an orange patch on their chest. They rub it around their territory to leave their special smell. Smells tell koalas if a tree is occupied, whether it's a male or female up there, and if it's a female, is she ready to mate? The biggest, strongest male has the right to mate with the females in his territory. He'll fight off any other males who try to breed with his females. This female's looking after her joey. The male wants to smell her to see if she's ready to mate. Her smell tells him she's not ready to mate, so he goes away. The joey returns to its mum. When this joey was born, it was pink and as big as a jelly bean. It lived in its mother's pouch, drinking her milk. Koalas carry their tiny babies in a pouch, so they're called marsupials. Koalas are not bears. After about six months, the furry joeys will start to come out of the pouch and nibble gum leaves. But they'll stay close to mum, often riding on her back. When they're about a year old, they have to look after themselves and find their own home range to live in. But as more and more gum trees are chopped down, koalas have to come down to the ground to reach suitable food trees. They may also have to travel a long way to find a mate. This is when they often get attacked by dogs, or if they have to cross a road, cars can knock them over. That's why it's important that there are lots of the right sort of trees for koalas to live and breed in. Koalas spend most of the day resting in the fork of a gum tree. Males are a bit bigger than females. Thick woolly fur keeps them warm when it's cold and it provides a heat shield when it's very hot. The colour of the fur makes them hard to see up in the trees. Thick fur on the koala's bottom makes a cushion for the hard branches it sits on. Their eyes are tiny, so they don't see very well. They rely mostly on their hearing and smell. They eat leaves from gum trees and only a few varieties. The others could be poisonous. This koala is smelling the leaves to see if they're safe to eat. The leaves also provide most of the water it needs.